You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. More than 20 okay, volunteers signed up and gathered here at the Econo Lodge to help search for missing teen Josiah Begg. Organized by Nan, dozens of red circles on the map show exactly where volunteers have been and where they need to go. The teenager was last seen on Saturday night at 10 o'clock near the Vale Community Center wearing a red baseball hat and sweater. He was visiting Thunder Bay with his father when he went missing. Throughout the morning, volunteers wearing orange safety vests searched through parks and bushes. We asked that the uh, volunteers uh, continue to search uh, footpaths uh, to uh, possibly attend areas such as uh, skateboard parks, uh, the mall, uh, both of our uh, uh, main tra transportation hubs uh, for transit. Uh, we also would like the public to continue their efforts to provide tips on uh, locating uh, Josiah and take the step of checking their, their yard, their property, uh, any sheds, uh, garages, anything that might help um, in, in providing any kind of detail. Meanwhile, in the afternoon, the official search expanded outside of Northwood. Here along the floodway by Island Drive, police and Thunder Bay Fire Rescue crews searched the shorelines carefully for any signs of the missing teen. Yeah, we're trying to explore all options. Uh, the public has come forward with a number of potential different sightings, and we're following each of those. Yeah, and you're going to go with Loretta. And the, the Volunteer Centre will be open until 9 at night, and anyone wishing to help are welcome to join. Meanwhile, the post-mortem report for 17-year-old Tammy Kiash is now complete. Police spokesperson Chris Adams says it's currently being reviewed and the results may be released on Friday. Kiash also went missing on Saturday. Her body was found Sunday night in the floodway near Tappels Park. Nan Grand Chief Alvin Fiddler is calling for an inquest into Kiash's death and three other youth around Ontario who were all under provincial care during the time of their deaths. Christina Jung, TVT News.